At first glance, you think this animator is fir firmly in the Hiroyuki Okiura school of realism. This is Bobby's Girls, that he did in the 80s, along with fellow animator Takashi from Nakamura. You would think that he'd be realist, but this is not the case, and you can even see it in his clip a little bit with the backgrounds that kind of flow in a more surrealist fashion. This was actually taken out of Take On Me. <laughs> <laughs> this was also incredibly 80s. It's only from the director's cut. Girl. All right. Moriboto quickly abandoned this realism and focused instead on a much more Kanata-esque style. This is the opening to the Dirty Pair movie. Like Kanata, Morimoto has block shading and organic but highly stylized effects animation. Unlike Kanata, Morimoto usually adds a surrealist overtone to his work, using bright colors and stylized effects to cover realistic subjects. Unlike the other animators, he often repeats a few character designs and visual motifs. Like, you notice the female character here? In the next clip I'm going to show you, it looks very similar to a female character there. So, this is because Morimoto views his work all as part of the same city we're getting to peer into. It's a look into the imagination of an iconic artist. So, Dirty Pair is pretty much the start of this style for Morimoto. I love some of the imagery that he puts together. How she draws a line and that line opens up. So, pretty much, uh, his style matured until uh, this, which is the concert from Macross Plus, probably his most famous scene. So, this com concert is really a combination of his style, featuring many surreal effects, distorted morphing images. If you go to actually go to Morimoto's official website, you'll actually see a character that greets you while, it's, while the whole site is loading, which takes eons, that morphs into different shapes while the site is loading. Yeah, if anybody has epileptic <laughs> issues, don't watch Morimoto's shorts. <laughs> I wish he did some Utada Hikaru videos, right? <laughs> yeah, he did. So, Morimoto is an animator who straddles the line between Okiura-esque realism and Kanata-esque stylization with a free-flowing, organic, playful style that oftentimes has darkly serious psychedelic and punk overtones. You can see the pot, uh, psychedelic overtones in these clips, but if you actually seek out some of his shorts and look them up, it has a much darker edge to it. That's one of my favorite shots, where she morphs right after that. And that's it. So we're going to let Sean wrap it up about why any of this kind of matters. We have to, like... Don't put it that way. Look, we have to qualify ourselves, and then um, after that, we're going to have a, no time to take questions. But we, we've got a we've got a handout. It's pretty if you can read. So come get our handout.